Tyson premiere. We're so excited. We're going to have some knockout guests, including Mike Tyson himself. We're also going to have Richie Bush here as a guest, Kim Kardashian, Carmelo Anthony, who's a producer. It's going to be all types of people, so look out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so happy. I'm so excited about this movie because this movie about no fighting, about person, about great human being. People believe that fighting is so aggressive. Yes, because the sport is a little aggressive. But you know what? This human being, this person, fight a lot to arrive at this success. And I think uh, this is a tribute. This movie is so deep. It's not only about. Tyson Boxer. It's about Tyson person. Mike is a fascinating, hypnotic, complicated guy who achieved astronomical heights starting at the absolute depths, brought himself down through his own hubris, resurrected himself, brought himself down again, resurrected himself. He's a great human dramatic story and people know that and feel it. And he's totally truthful and unadulterated in the movie in a way that I think moves people in many cases to tears. I've been screening the movie in seven countries and 45 cities so far, and everybody responds in a powerfully emotional way. Have you seen it yet? I have seen it. Yeah, I mean, it's just everybody is being affected by him, and it's because it's the real thing. What do you love about Mike Tyson? Well, first of all, I just like the ring. I like to watch it. I like to see it. I mean, also when they have all these good specials on, um, on HBO, I watch all their training sessions. I'm really into it. I'm really into how they become those great fighters and do those punches and not pass out in two rounds, you know. Um, but I've seen a lot of his facts, uh, and he's amazing and was amazing. And I think this is going to help everybody remind themselves of how great of a fighter, how great of an athlete. Is it about boxing that you feel like people are so excited about? Well, they're gladiators, you know, and I think uh, people have always loved gladiators, whether they are today's bullfighters or today's boxers or today's football players or today's basketball players. I mean, people love seeing the competition, seeing men go at each other, seeing athletes go at each other. And if there weren't lions, you know, like back in the day, then throw somebody else in there and see if you can beat them into a bowl. It's fun stuff. So tell me, what is your favorite memory of Mike Tyson? out there boxing. You've watched a lot of boxing matches. Uh, one of my favorite moments goes back to when he was in his uh, first Dalton or so fights, fighting on ESPN. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, Mike always fought without socks. He wore those black shoes and the black trunks. And real fancy. Style. And back in the middle 80s, early 80s, you know, all the athletes wore the high white socks. So he comes into the ring. The fights are on ESPN, it's his early career. These guys don't know. They're yelling, hey, where's your socks? Knocks the guy out in the first round. So as I get into the ring where I have to announce the time of the knockout, I lean over the ropes and I say, why don't you come up here and ask him where his socks are now? It's just a little moment I remember. And there's a lot of university students who've been watching you and grew up listening to you. Can you give us all you ready for the Trojan Vision? Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for Trojan Vision. Do you think this documentary is going to change the perception that people have of Mike Tyson? Absolutely, 100% hands down. You get to see that underneath it all, there's a compassionate, caring, wonderful man, and you're going to get that after seeing this documentary. What is your favorite Mike Tyson memory? I know you used to watch him a lot growing up. I mean, all the memories I have of Mike, I loved in the younger days when he was just unstoppable, just beating everybody up. And then, of course, you have the infamous ear-biting moment that people want to know what happened, and that gets answered in this film as well. So, I mean, there's different moments, the kind where you're cheering him on, the kind where you're like, what just happened? Why did you do that? You have all of that going on, and any questions with all those moments are answered. Mike, you just came back from the Cannes Film Festival with a film guy standing ovation. What was that experience like? I don't know, it's pretty much surreal. I, you know, I'm just saying this, um, the last one, I'm not used to this stuff. This, you know, I'm just, you know, got, I don't know if I can take it serious yet, but you know, it's pretty humbling and it's pretty embarrassing because I feel people are making a big thing with me for no particular reason. It's, you know, it's going to be embarrassing. I have no idea what I'm here for. I am.